divide or split the Kamba vote, so to speak, and uh, a worried Nasser there, so to speak. But we'll also be keeping an eye on how that plays out. But also on the front page of the Standard, a story, a story that continues on page seven, nine independent presidential candidates are on the ballot this year um, for the August 8th general election. And of course, the concept of independent candidates is one that is fairly new to Kenya. Um, especially in terms of uh, presidential candidates. Yes, yeah. and, and the numbers alone are quite soaring. Uh -huh. uh, looking at the nation, it's talking about 4,000 uh, cleared to run candidates. as independent candidates. Uh -huh. Of course, not all of them will make it to parliament, but it still creates uh, a problem for the major political parties uh, because there's going to be a lot of horse trading and a lot of canvassing between the two. And then one wonders if a member of parliament, for instance, is independent, how independent are they? Yeah, and I don't know if we've had such a high number of uh, independent candidates ever, but even just a high number of aspirants this time looking mm. to get into elective positions. I wonder what informs these numbers, first of all. Is it just a quest to get a job? Um, you know, because the rates of unemployment are rather high, or is it a quest to really serve the people of Kenya? Absolutely, and it also brings to question, uh, Michelle, the question of uh, what ideologies do they have? Mm -hmm. Because if you're going independent, are you coming on board with your own ideologies? Do you have your own belief? Is it because you don't agree with the ideologies of the parties? But we do know that uh, political parties in these countries have been baptized and called SPVs, and, uh, special purpose vehicles. And the independent city is becoming the same thing because right. many of them tried out